What's up guys and welcome back to a new video where we'll be diving into the global search in Larval Nova. Quick pause, do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits just as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link can be found in the description down below. We've already talked about the searchable property inside our resource classes, where you could pass in the columns the search of a specific resource should search through. But if we navigate to the browser, you'll see in the top left that Larva Nova also supports a global search where you could search through your entire application. But if we search for iPhone right here, you'll see that we have found our project resource with one item named iPhone 14. Now this is coming from, let's navigate back and open our product resource, scroll to the top, right here where we have our public static title property defined. It used to be ID, so if we navigate back, refresh it and search for iPhone again, you'll see that we found one product where the ID is number one. So let's navigate back and undo that. Now a pretty cool feature that Nova offers is the fact that you could add subtitles to your attribute global search, which is a pretty cool feature whenever you want to add additional information to the search results that we have right here. So let's do that. Let's navigate back and right below our public static title, let's define a function right here called public function subtitle. So the subtitle method is basically a static method inside the class that we're extending called resource. So we're basically gonna overwrite the value. What we're gonna do right here is basically return a subtitle of brand colon curly braces. We're gonna grab the current resource, so this we're gonna get the brand with the name. If we navigate to the browser, refresh it and search for a product one more time without typos, you'll see that we have our title, which is iPhone 14, which is the product title. And then we have the brand, which is Apple. Now let's navigate back to PHP Storm and let's add a subtitle for our brand as well. So right at the top, let's say right here, public function subtitle which we will return the industry where our brand is active on so let's do that let's say this industry if we navigate back to google chrome search for let's say apple you'll see that they're active in the industry electronics and it's even possible to add a ternary operator as a return statement so let's do that for our users resource class let's open it now let's define our function first, so public function subtitle. And what we're going to do right here is return a ternary operator. So if the is underscore admin of a user that we're searching is equal to true, print out admin, else it's a user. If we navigate back, search for the user code with Dari, you'll see that code with Dari is an admin at the moment. Another pretty cool feature that Nova offers is limiting the number of results you can see inside the global search per resource. Now, at the moment, we can only search for one iPhone because we only have one product inside our application. If we had more, a complete list of iPhones will be shown, which means that we end up with the same results as the resource class. So there isn't really a difference whether you click on products in the sidebar or you search for an iPhone. Now Nova allows you to overwrite a new property which limits the number of products that will be visible. So let's navigate back to our product resource class and right under our subtitle method, we're gonna define a public static property named global search results. The value should be equal to an integer which will represent the number of rows that should be visible. At the moment, we only have one. So let's say that we want to set the global search results equal to one. Let's navigate back and let's create a new product of iPhone 14 Max, test 1419, product SKU just random numbers, quantity of 25, the brand is Apple and the status is checked. All right, so we have two products right now, both starting with iPhone. And if we click on our global search, you'll see that you can only see one product right here, which is happening because we have set the global search results right here equal to one. If we set it to two, refresh it, search for iPhone, 
you'll see that we found two products right here. Now you usually don't want to use a low number, so let's say 10 right here. Another pretty cool feature that Nova allows you to add on your global search is the debounce. And the debounce is the time before the results will be shown to you. Now this needs to be changed as a global configuration, so we can't specify this for a specific resource, because this needs to be done for all resources. And whenever you want to change a configuration like that, you need to open the Nova service provider, where inside the boot method, we simply need to define the Nova class and chain the global search debounce method to it. And this method accepts one parameter, which will be an integer of the number of seconds it takes before the results will be visible. For demonstration purposes, let's just change it to three. If we navigate back, refresh it, and search for iPhone again, you'll see that it has been delayed by three seconds, and that is happening because of our global search debounce right here. Now, I personally don't see any point of adding this on local host, maybe on production in case your hosting isn't as good as others. So for now, let's just remove this line. The last two settings I'd like to show you regarding the global search is either disabling the global search of a resource, or disabling the global search of all. Now let's start off by disabling a specific resource. And let's add it inside our user resource class. So let's open it and right below our subtitles. Now let's say that we want to overwrite the public static globally searchable property, which has a default value of true, which means that we need to overwrite the value to false if we want to turn it off. So let's do that. Let's set it equal to false. Let's navigate back to Google Chrome, refresh it. Let's search for the user code with Dari. And as you can see, Nova replied with a message saying that the user has not been found. Now, lastly, we could disable the entire search input field right here. And once again, whenever you want to disable a functionality that has been set globally, you need to perform some kind of functionality inside a Nova service provider. So let's do that. Let's open our Nova service provider, and right here, let's say that we want to call the Nova class again, colon, colon, without global search. If we navigate to the browser and refresh it, and you will indeed see that our global search input field has completely been removed. Now this was it for this episode where we dived into the global search of Laravel Nova. In the next video, we're going to have a look at filters. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.